Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and today we have another LEGO Dimensions video for you. This one happens to be for the Trophy Achievement Official Master Builder, which requires us to complete 15 hub world renovations. Now you see I've got a little red asterisk after that, and uh, that brings us to the little point down below. A few require an extra character. Now there are a total of 22 world hub renovations, and you only need 15, but we're going to go ahead and get all 22 in this video. Now we do get a bonus trophy achievement uh, for restoring one renovation as well, which is simple, easy peasy. But basically, we've used Wonder Woman to complete uh, the couple extra, as we call them. But we've got quick links down below in the video description, and uh, when you're ready to roll out, we're going to start with the Lord of the Rings world. Reason is, is because there's actually eight of them here, and we don't need any extra characters or anything. So we figured we'd try to knock out all the easy peasy ones first that don't require any extra money or character packs or anything like that so uh we're gonna go ahead and select lord of the rings world hub and jump right on in now we have sped this video up ever so slightly and we did kind of cut out a little bit of the loading scenes there just in case you were wondering how fast we got here but uh once we start in the lord of the rings world we're gonna kind of head over to the left and go over the hill and we're gonna go upsy daisy and once we get to this blue cockatoo here on the left hand side we're gonna slide up in between the two houses and take this little path up now we're actually using our compass down below in the left corner there to to get to the little uh, icon which is the hammer and wrench crossing over there and uh, we find oh look at that restoring order boo yuka show we find that paying twenty five thousand dollars or studs is all that it requires and uh, to be completely honest we have our music turned off just to avoid any possible copyright infringements for some of the music that's played and uh, that's why we don't get to hear any of that lovely music once we got the jukebox now we, we, we did not include the values of how much all of these are but we do have them all listed on our trophy achievement guide but it does cost quite a few pennies in order to get all of these now you saw I went down and around the corner here and across the bridge, which gets us to the old mill renovation here. Once we get that up and going, we actually get rewarded with a few of these like c -c -c combo breakers. And look at that, I got a purple. It's not very often I get a purple. But, uh, oh, to the end. Basically, what we're going to do is smash and grab all the studs. Because, like I said, there is a lot of money that needs to be spent here. And, and, you know, one thing I didn't mention. You know, we basically saved all of our money throughout the free play and story modes. We got that 2x red brick as soon as we had a million studs. We showed you when we got it and how we got it. And, uh, and then we just kept our money from then on out. We didn't really spend it on anything. Luckily for us, there's no characters to purchase or anything. So, really, the only thing you can spend money on are these renovations. Or, I, I, I guess... That's really, I mean, maybe there's something I'm missing, but... All right, up and around the way, we, uh, we just followed basically the yellow brick road up and over, and we come to this little spot. And again, use your compass. If you're having troubles kind of figuring out where we're going, the compass will show you the spot once you get close enough. And here we go ahead, and we pay for the whole seed money, as he ironically states that he needs. And then they use that again. You know, I'm all for creativity and originality. And when they reuse, a, like, that was creative. I, I give them props for that. I need some seed money to get these crops started. Ha, 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 ha. Get it? Seed money? All right, so now that we've gone over that 17 times, they use that again later in another one that has nothing to do with seeds or growing. And I thought that was kind of, you know, redundant, so to speak. All right, backtrack and get back on the road, and we're going to follow it up and over. This time we're going to take a left, hang a Louie. You know, somebody brought something up a while back. I, I said that. We're going to hang a Louie here. Somebody asked what the right version of a Louie is. If, if a left is a Louie, then what is a right? A, a Rui? I, if anybody knows the answer to that, please drop a comment down below. Or if you got a good guess, or you know, or something, then let us know. Otherwise, we're going to keep on keeping on up into the elven territory up here. And look at that, we're in Rivendell. Hey, for once we got a Rivendell video. Remember in our Lord of the Rings, or no, it was The Hobbit. The Hobbit, we actually got totally, uh, well, our, our video footage got corrupted and we couldn't use it. No matter what we tried to do, our editor wouldn't take it. We tried multiple editors. The footage was just corrupted. Like we had a file, but we couldn't view it. We couldn't, we couldn't edit it. We couldn't do anything with it. So 
Anyhow, we uh, paid the money for the council renovation, and we're going to go ahead and make our way on down. Now, hey, uh, another thing. I know that I just said that we have all the information for the, the values of these on our trophy or on, in our trophy achievement guide on our website. But I think maybe what I'll do now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I'll add these to the video description timelines as well to help you guys. And then you don't have to travel anywhere. How, how's that sound? Does that sound good? All right, we've made it all the way to the top of the hill. We're up here, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that because I would slaughter it, and then you guys would laugh at me. But basically, we're at the top of the world, ma. Look, we got all the way up here. Now, there's a way you can actually cheat. I mean, it's not like it's hard to go invisible with Batman. And although I totally screw this up right here, and somehow I, I hit the circle to flip the switch, but it takes my invisibility away, and they can see me now. But uh, basically, there's a little part of the, the gate here over to the right that you can jump over. I don't show you, but it's right over to the right. Now, one thing I do show you, though, let's say you're having a little trouble with studdage. Maybe you're a little low on money. Uh, there's these big lava rocks that are pretty helpful because they give you a handful of studs, including two blues each time you find a new one. So you, they, they only give it to you once, but you can get, you know, I think there's five or six of them up here. So, you know, 10 grand or so if you got the multiplier on. Speaking of multipliers, uh, we are happy to have one because we just had to spend 45,000 more studs, but we have renovated the forge. And now we get a chance to get some of that money back by playing the old lotto stud. <laughs> and uh, all right, I get a couple of golds. That's better than, you know, nothing, I guess. And oh, I think we get a silver here, right? Uh, come on, I don't know what's going on here. I got like 18 times. All right, finally I get a silver one. I thought I had a good good plan for another poiple there, but uh, it didn't work out. It was almost seemed to be invincible. Now, hey, I want to show you guys something here. I don't know if this is happening for you or not, but check out this draw distance on this statue here. <laughs> This happened in multiple loadings for me when I was running around doing test runs. Um, you know, in various places, you can get fairly close to it and it'll appear, and then you take a couple steps away and it disappears. So that's usually referred to as draw distance in a game, and usually is always the horizon or the background of the game. But in this particular case, it was up close and personal. All right, we dropped right off the ledge. There is a longer way to get down here, but we basically went for a swim. And uh, now that we've got uh, our temperature cooled off a little bit here, because it was hot in Rivendale. And uh, a little hotter up in whatever that was. See, I told you I didn't want to say it. But down below, we have this statue that we can go ahead and rebuild. It's kind of expensive as well. But uh, we'll go ahead and spend the 60K and build it up and then butt slam him into eternity. No, I don't know. We're just Really, we're just trying to get the money. But here we have a nice little jump. This is kind of a shortcut. It just takes us right on over and drops us down below Minas Tirith. Oh, ooh, I think I said that one right. And uh, although I get all sideways, I'm rolling sideways this way, that way. I, I finally get off, and I run up and around. And this one's kind of tricky because of the placement of the icon. But hopefully you watched the video and didn't have any problems getting to her. 50,000 will go ahead and replace the courtyard. And actually, that, if you look at the number here, well, that's the eighth renovation of this area. And it's going to complete the Lord of the Rings hub. So, woohoo! We do a couple butt slams. I'm not sure how those fires got lit. I didn't see any matches get lit. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, we're going to go ahead and use the quit to Vorton option here because we can and yes we're sure we want to exit and it's going to drop us right out at the lord of the rings hub 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 there and we're going to drop on down and we've got two choices luckily for us both the other ones that we need are right here the lego movie and the dc world so we're going to hop into the lego movie because this one's really simple and easy too in fact there are i believe what five here there are five here and the they're all really easy and uh or is there six here no, there's only five. That's right. And uh, first one, you're just going to go right up the stairs and kind of head over just to the left side of this first big building here. Billboards only cost you 25000 And if you want to hang out and get some studs, they actually drop quite a few blues along the top there. So I don't think it quite covers the bill we uh, had to pay to, to build those, but uh, it comes pretty close. Now, the next one, we're going to hop in our rig here, and we're going to roll out. We're going to take a right, and then a left, and then another right, and we're going to go up and over. Basically, we're heading towards Cloud Cuckoo Land, which is up in the sky here. But in order to get there, we actually have to rebuild the rainbow. So we're going to go ahead and build the rainbow. Watch this. She's hiding off to the side here. The foreman is. I think it's a female. Yeah, it is. Either that or Buddy needs a haircut. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> he should rock a man bun if that's what's going on so I could tell 
a little easier. All right, anyways, uh, I believe, I can't remember her name. She was in the Lego movie, and she was a, kind of a, I don't remember her name. Somebody somebody knows it, though. I'll probably go watch the Lego movie after I get done recording this and go find out. But uh, maybe it says when we walk up. I didn't even think about that. Our subtitles often will say, no, doesn't say it. But this one happens to be the jukebox. So we paid money, which is one of the renovations, to repair the rainbow. And then we got up top, and then the only renovation in Cloud Cuckoo Land happens to be the jukebox. So again, we find ourselves with the music turned off. So although we turn it on, eh, we can't hear what's going on. So you guys probably can, though. These snails can. Look at these guys. These guys are dancing. Yeah, that's right. I'm teaching them a lesson. Watch watch this. I do a little headstand. Woohoo! That was awesome. I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, I probably couldn't replicate that if I tried. All right, so we're going to make our way all the way over to the far end of Cloud Cuckoo Land. And uh, down below us is the Old West. You probably have seen the big sign floating in the air. We're going to do a crazy drop and... Uh, made our stomachs a little queasy when we fell, we won't lie. And, oh, look at this. We found a male construction guy standing over here. And we're going to go ahead and repair the saloon. And the saloon will uh, cost you, what, 25 k is what it's in? And last but not least, there is one more in this area. But you actually uh, require a character outside of the starter pack. So um, we, we're going to go over here and actually target the uh, available characters. There's two ways you can do this. You can actually make your way up the side of the Octon Tower using somebody who can hack a computer terminal, or you can use a flying character. Uh, we're going to go over to the little icon that tells us which of the characters you need. I believe it's Benny and like Cyborg and there's a couple others. And, and like I said, we'll show you here in a second. But the easiest way, in all fairness, the easiest way is just to pull out a flying character, whether it's you know, uh, Wonder Woman, you know, uh, if you got the Wicked Witch, I know there's a couple of them out there, but essentially once you get to that, there's, you can make your way up a little ways, but you need to flip a switch or two and turn some power on and off, which we'll show you right here. So there's a couple of these to get all the way to the top, and it's quite a task getting up there, but look at that. You got Benny, Cyborg, Cyberman, Doc Brown, and the 12th Doctor. So... All of those should be available via Wave 2, and there's a couple that are via, already available via Wave 1. But we're going to go ahead and switch it on over. We're going to bring in the Wonder Woman for the first time, and check it out. Look at that. We, we even get the instructions for the Invisible Jet, which we have built. And uh, we're going to fly up and get all the way to the top here. It takes us just a second. I see something up there, too. I need to go check that out and see what's cracking up there. But uh, off to the top on kind of the right side... You got to drop down just a little bit. Watch that step. And all right, we find another construction worker up here. And look at that. It's a humdinger. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so once we get up there, we go ahead and pay the 25 k and watch that get built. All right. So that's actually it for the Lego movie. And we're going to go over into the DC World Hub now and go back to using just the starter pack character. So... Once we actually arrive in the Vorton world here, we pull old Wonder Woman off our toy pad and she disappears. Ready? She tells us, uh, you guys go head on without me or something like that. There you go. Yeah, on without me for now. And we'll go ahead and switch on over to Batman and jump into his world so we can go ahead and knock out these last nine. Really, we only need two more at this point. So quick and easy, we'll go ahead and show you those. I mean, assuming you had a flying character. If you don't, you need three more. But either way, we show you all of them. And we're gonna backtrack and head, turn around and go right to the water over here. And right down, uh, there's actually a stud trail that kind of hints to like follow us down here. See, we're following it. Which way did he go? Which way did he go? We're actually coming down to the penguin hideout. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and spend the 20K and build this up, which is pretty cool, actually. It comes out of nowhere. It's like this little Icelandic little uh, castle. And uh, watch out, though. It's kind of cold. <laughs> I wouldn't advise getting too close. And uh, eventually we'll have a character that has the ability to get the, the heat on. The heat is on. Yeah. All right, now we're just double backing to the start where the portal is. And just to the left of the portal is a little spot where we can renovate a Superman statue. So it's kind of a, a little bit of a task getting back up here. But once we find our way there, you can see is the beginning portal. And off to the side, we've got this nice young lady here who wants to restore the Superman statue. So, ooh, and look at that for us. That was 15. So booyaka shao. Official master builder is now ours. But hey, we know, we understand that not everybody has an extra character, so we got to get you at least one more before we can all celebrate, right? 
So, all right, we're going to head right on up. And this is actually Arctic World up top here. And there's a dude standing here. And we're going to go ahead and fork out 90K. Although it's a pretty amazing uh, building or renovation, I should say. Uh, I don't know if it's worth 90K, though. Anyhow, that, that should be pretty close to you guys. I mean, maybe you didn't follow along. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, watch this. Batman totally gets stuck over here. That's fun. So we go ahead and switch to Wildstyle, and she's nowhere near where we'd like her to be. So we got to backtrack. But good thing she's got the old double jump power, so we don't have the same issue happen again with her as we did with Batman. So double jump up and over and ride that little uh, scaffolding up and out. And up top, we're going to see this crazy road. There's like a four-way here, and it's all smashed up and... And we're just going to keep on keeping on, and we're going to head over. If you, if you need help, look at your compass. You should be able to see the little hammer and wrench. And we're going to come up to the Wayne Manor, and check this out. It's party time. Jungle boogie. Da -da 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 -da. Jungle boogie. Beep, beep. That's right. We're partying at the Wayne Manor. But you know what? Wild Style is kind of a party pooper. So she's going to do a few butt slams. And uh, look at that turkey. We saved the best part of the turkey for you. <laughs> Oh, Norbit, Norbit, Norbit. All right, uh, moving along now. We're actually going to get right back on the road and keep on down the path. I tried to give you a little turnaround, but the camera was being funny, and rather than waste too much time, I just moved along. And uh, we're going to find a ladder just on a second building past the Wayne Manor. We're going to get all the way to the top. Now, hey, if you have a flying character, of course, you could just fly, leap to the top of that building. And around the corner here, there's not just a bunch of stuff to smash and grab. There's actually, who's that? That looks like a familiar face. Anybody know who that is? <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and restore the bat signal. I still think that should say HTG. I, I, that's just me, though. I, I mean, I don't know. We, we thought about maybe doing some stickers with the bat signal, but HTG, or maybe a T-shirt or something. I don't know. You guys tell me below if you guys would be interested in something like that. And if you are... Let us know if you'd prefer, like, you know, stickers, hat, or whatever. Hey, look at that. I totally got stuck in the corner. I was com complaining about Batman's lack of acrobatic skills and how, you know, Wild Style is so amazing. And then, look, she gets stuck back there, too. So we're going to go ahead and chop both of those up to user error rather than trying to blame it on the hero. And we're going to make our way all the way over around the corner here. And unfortunately, it takes us a long time via foot. So we're going to go ahead and do some backwards driving. And uh, we accidentally get the red brick for this area, too. Like, that's supposed to be difficult. And it's supposed to be a challenge to chase down that robot and get him. And I promise you, I was not trying to get that red brick. But it ends up being, I believe it's like the DC comic. Uh, I don't remember exactly what it is. It's something, something non-essential. But uh, all the way inside here, I believe this is the asylum, isn't it? The, uh, I think it said when we came in here. We're going to go ahead and uh, talk to one of the buddies. There's a whole bunch of these guys that look the same. But one of them actually will uh, take your money and uh, go ahead and build up the jukebox. And that actually completes all of the rest of the renovations that uh, are available to the starter pack. So all in all, what does it end up being? Uh, there was quite a few. There's only four that required an outside character, I believe it was. And uh, we actually used Wonder Woman for all of them. So you're probably wondering, well, wait a minute. There's still some you haven't done. You didn't do 22. Well, ha, ha, ha. We're going to go ahead and pull out the Woman of Wonder here and get our fly on. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Wrong character. All right, so basically, uh, it's pretty awesome. We can fly all the way across the town. And I flew right by the building we need to uh, restore. It's the Daily Planet off to the right there. And I, I wasn't sure. I knew the, what the building roof top looked like, but for some reason, I didn't think that the building on the far right there was the one. And I get a little closer. I'm like, nah, that's not it. And here we go. It's over here. And the person that's in charge is actually over on the right-hand side. And... It's quite the large afro, so you probably can't miss her. And I, you know, I should know the name of this character too, but I don't. So drop me a comment. Let me know who that is down below. Pay that 90k. Holy cow! That's the second giant metal ball we've paid ninety thousand dollars in this area for. But that completes that renovation, and so we can go ahead and drop off. And the last two, believe it or not, are underwater. So we're gonna go ahead and take a dip. And check it out. Look at that. I had no idea that even existed under here. Well, all right. So I, I did. I knew it was under here. But uh, pretty cool stuff. This is Atlantis, as it'll tell us here in a second if it didn't already. I was kind of looking away for a second. My bad. But, uh, yeah, Atlantis. And we're going to go ahead and, and rebuild the Atlantis building. So this is pretty cool. It, it, it's... Uh, it costs a lot of money, but this one's actually worth it. It's not just a giant metal ball. 
And uh, all right, now we're going to turn around and double back kind of the way we came. And there happens to be this kind of smaller little building and a little temple-ish looking thing. And on the top floor inside, there is this lad. And guess what? For five grand, we can fund the school of fishes. And we're all about learning. So we're going to go ahead and give him the money. And check it out. I, you know, you tell me what you guys think, but I'm 90% sure that this is a Finding Nemo reference here, a little Easter egg. You can see you got Dory, you got Nemo, you got, uh, God, I can't think of the turtle's name. I knew it before I started this, but, uh, oh, come on, I should know this. Um, anyways, I should know it, and I don't. So I'm like, what? And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Another movie I haven't watched in a long time, but all right, I'm making extra, uh, taking some extra time here to make sure that we talked about the Nemo moment. But uh, hey, pat yourselves on the back. Regardless if you got all 22 or just the 15 needed, you should have the official Master Builder trophy achievement now. And yes, we're sure we want to exit. And this final screen can mean only one thing that that's going to wrap up the LEGO Dimensions official Master Builder trophy achievement. And uh, oh, to the hopefully you guys found that awesomely easy and fun and uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the quick links and the information provided down below in the video description as well and hey if you did we'd love to hear from you why don't you guys head on over to any of our social pages which the links can be found below too but check out facebook twitter comment vote subscribe down below happythumbsgaming.com is available as well and uh to be completely honest with you guys if you don't know already and a lot of you don't know we have a contest every Friday, or I should say a giveaway every Friday on our Facebook page. Now, we try to talk about it on our YouTube videos. We definitely tweet about it on our Twitter, and we for sure post about it on Facebook. So if you guys are interested in, like, some Thumby stickers or maybe Booyakashow stickers, we give away Lego sometimes. We've given away hats, T-shirts, all sorts of stuff. So I'm not making any promises for next week, but you guys should check us out. Friday, 6 p.m. Central Time. Psych. It's Pacific Standard. Ha 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 ha. Some of you scratching your head because you know. But no, we always roll at about 6 p.m. Pacific. And uh, check it out. We'd love to see you guys over there. We have a handful every week, but we'd love a, 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 a basket full. I don't know if that's bigger than a handful, but anyways, I'm, I'm totally digging myself a hole here. So before I dig too deep and I can't see out, I'm going to go ahead and check out. As always, until next time.